God wants you dead and alive. Keep watching. I'll show you how seeing yourself dead is the key to living alive. For too many years, I strived and strived to live the Christian life. I thought that victory over Satan was directly related to how many spiritual methods that I engaged. After a lot of doing and fighting, I realized that I still didn't have much victory. But then the Lord showed me that my efforts alone couldn't hold me in holiness, but the efforts of Jesus would. He said it's all about living the crucified life. Now for some people, the idea of the crucified life is scary. Perhaps just the phrase evokes thoughts of legalism, do's and don'ts, haves and have nots. Yet Jesus says, if anyone wants to be my follower, they must take up their cross and follow me. That's a call to the crucified life. But what does it actually mean? First, notice Jesus doesn't ask that we take up his cross. He's not saying that we afflict ourselves with pain in order that we share in his sufferings. It's not about living a life without nice things or not having any fun or even taking a vow of poverty. If you're like I was, I thought it was about living in guilt regarding my mistakes. I'd basically believe that feeling defeated and miserable enough would pay for my sins. But that only made things worse and I ended up finding myself in the same place over and over again. Then I freshly read the words of Paul in Galatians 2.20. He boasted, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. God took my attention to the words, have been crucified, awakening me to the fact that my crucifixion happened with Jesus' 2,000 years ago. And Paul continues this theme throughout the book of Galatians. He says, those who are in Christ have crucified the flesh. And again, the world has been crucified to me. It's all past tense. The key is to apply Jesus' crucifixion 2,000 years ago to your life today. Here's a word of victory to help you do just that. It's Romans 6:11. Paul said, so you must also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to Christ. Understand that to consider is an active process of thinking about or renewing your mind according to. In other words, living the crucified life is really about seeing your situations through the lenses of Jesus' finished work. It's about considering, knowing that because of the cross, your symptoms are healed, your shame is eradicated, and your sins are erased. You are made new and declared worthy. From now on, consider yourself dead to the old things and now resurrected, alive in Christ. When you believe that in your mind, your actions and your lifestyle will begin to catch up.